Okay, so this is part four of Learn Go, and in this video we're going to be learning constants. So let's go ahead and start off as we have done in the previous videos. We'll say package main, then we'll say import format. So this will be used to output to the screen as usual, and then func main will be our main function. So the way that we define constants in Go is we just use the keyword const. So Basically, anything you can define a variable as, you can also define a constant as. So any numerical type, Boolean string, or anything like that can be a constant. So let's go ahead and define a constant variable called pi, and it will be a float 64, and we'll define it equal to be 3. Point, uh, not in quotes, 3.1415926, and so on. So we can go ahead and print that out to the screen. So let's say format dot print line pi. Go ahead, clear the terminal, and then say uh, go run and this file is called constants.go and let's see I think this might not be so let's go ahead and run this so we'll save it we'll say go run and the name of this file is constants.go so if we do that, we see that we have this 3.1415926 output there. So again, we can define const uh, for any numerical type. So const c int is equal to, let's say, 1,000. We can also print that out to the screen because, again, we'll need to use this variable if we define it because otherwise we'll get an error. So let's go ahead and print c out to the screen as well. Uh, and then let's go ahead and try to reassign the value of c to something else. So let's go ahead and try to say c is equal to 50. So remember here, we've defined a const c int as 1,000. And then what we've done is we're trying to reassign that constant value to be equal to 50. Let's go ahead and try to run this and see what happens. So if we run it, we get an, an error here. It says cannot assign to C. So basically what that's saying is you've defined C as a constant here, and you're trying to redefine it, which is violating the fact that this is defined as a constant. So you can't do that. So we're going to have to just, let me just put a comment here. This is can't reassign value, uh, a constant value. And then we'll just comment this out because obviously this will not work. So, for instance, if you were to say var int, let's say var d int is equal to, let's say, 100. So this is just a variable now. It's not a constant. If I was to then say, let's uh, print this out to the screen. So format.println d. So let's just go ahead and print that out. So we see pi that we had before, 1,000, 100. Nothing bad so far. So let's go ahead and try to reassign d now that we've define it up here as uh, an integer, which is not constant. So for instance, if we now say d is equal to 5,000 or something like that, some other value, let's go ahead and write it and then run it, there's no issues. So we've been able to reassign d, actually just to verify that it actually did take that value. Let's go ahead and print the uh, variable d after we've reassigned it to the value of 5,000. So let's go ahead and run it. So initially d is 100, and then after we have defined the variable d, we've reassigned it to the value of 5,000. So that can be done. That's because it's a variable and not a constant. So basically anything with the value const, the qualifier const here, just cannot be changed throughout the, the rest of the program. It's set to whatever value that is. So const is generally used for uh, things like this, like pi, things that don't change, constants in mathematical terms. So that's a short video. That's pretty much all we're going to cover in this video. If you have any questions or comments about constants or anything else, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. As always, the code for this will also be available on my GitHub, and the link to that will be in the description below as well. Thanks again for watching. Have a nice day.